Hi again everybody, thank you for joining me. Thank you on this uh, glorious morning uh, for coming out to my garden uh, to enjoy uh, reflecting on God's word again as we uh, try and engage with what God is saying through, in this case, the, the words of Paul uh, to the Ephesians. Um, but as we uh, engage with that in such a way that we apply it to how we live today as the children of God. We're looking today at Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. A glance at the news, uh, a listen to a radio or television bulletins, uh, a look at the, tele the um, newspaper headlines will uh, underline just how evil the days are uh, today. There's wars and rumours of wars, there's abuse, there is uh, uh, shocking ways in which uh, refugees and children are um, dealt with or, or are, are disciplined. Uh, lots of examples of how evil seems to uh, propound in our world. So how do we respond? As children of God, how do we respond in the great scheme of things and in uh, within such a huge um, crisis at the moment. Well, we need to be careful how we live, not as unwise but as wise. Our sphere of influence maybe is, uh, is very, very small, very tiny compared to uh, world leaders or politicians or kings and queens. But uh, the one person that we have control over how uh, that person lives is ourselves. So uh, we can't uh, allow the behavior of others to dictate how we then behave. Just because others are unwise, just because they're evil, doesn't mean to say that, well, okay, the only way of combating that is for us to be uh, similarly uh, stupid. Um, but we are to focus on how we live. And by the way, the wise way in which we live, I think we are demonstrating something of the power of God, something of the impact of God in our hearts and in our lives. Whether we uh, are aware of it or not, whether we like it or not, uh, there is some area of influence that each of us has among the people who are watching us, maybe uh, including children or grandchildren, um, but among within the community as well that we're part of. People do look at us and take notice of what we do and how we do it. And as those, if we're those who are known as Christians, known to be Christians, then a kind of a, a judgment or an assessment of our God and of other Christians is um, often made based on what people see in us. So let's be wise in the way that we live. Let's demonstrate something of how God is at work in us because through doing that, we're making the most of good opportunities, even in evil days. And we're demonstrating something that is much more beautiful and much more godly than the most evil politician or ruler around. Let's pray. Father, thank you that you've given us brains and you expect us to use them. Help us to use them wisely to make wise decisions for you and to glorify you in the way that we behave. Amen. God bless. See you tomorrow, I hope. Take care.